Quickest way to learn Japanese. The quickest way to learn Japanese is to have a specific goal. So, what you want to do is you want to have a specific goal that you want to reach. So, for example, if you're learning Japanese to understand Japanese movies, like being able to understand a Japanese movie without any English subtitles, then that could be a goal. And it's a very formidable goal, too. And it's a great way to measure your progress. So, if you're You know, you're taking Japanese lessons, or for example, you're you're doing a program online about Japanese, and at the end of the program, you're still not yet to your goal. That means you need to reevaluate what you're doing, and also、uh, it will help you keep you motivated. So if you're motivated with this goal of being able to understand Japanese movies without English subtitles, then it will keep you going when the times are tough. Okay, and it will get tough. Learning Japanese is not an easy task, but it's not a hard one, too. So, I'm, what I'm saying is not complicated, but it's not easy. So, let's go on with the next slide. Okay, so create little habits for Japanese learning. So, what do I mean by that? So, what I mean is that, for example, one of the main things that people get stuck on when they're learning Japanese is the Japanese kanji, which is the Japanese writing system with all its 2,000, 5,000 characters.、Um, it's very daunting when you look at, it, at that, when you look at the number of 5,000. That's a big number, right? What you need to do is you need to break it down into smaller chunks and create, create habits. So, say, for example, you create a habit that、um, after Going on the bus and sitting down, going to work. Say, for example, you commute to work. After I sit on the bus and I go to work, I will take out my phone and I will study five kanji. Okay? And if you study five kanji, you'll be able to, like, just imagine doing that little habit every day for 365 days. So, what's five times 100 days? That's, that's 5,000 characters already. You know, obviously, you're not going to learn five characters and remember. Uh, every day. That's why there's certain tools and programs that you can use on your phone to help you with that. But my point is, creating these little habits will help,、uh, help you learn Japanese much easier and much quicker. Now, one of the,、uh, one of, one of the websites that I personally use、uh, f- as a newbie is JapanesePod101.com. It has great, awesome audio lessons, and the video lessons there are also great. One of the things I really like about Japanese Pod 101 is the way that the audios, audio、um, lessons are structured. It's not, it's not boring audio、uh, lessons, and it's, it's not very. Like, like I've tried Japanese Pimsleur, and it's really, really, really boring. On the other hand, Japanese Pod 101 is very fun and it's very lighthearted. There's like some comedy involved.、Um, and at the end of the day, You want to have associations when you're learning、uh, a new language. So, when I listen to the Japanese Pod 101 audio, for example, on Ohio, right, there's always like、um, a banter bef- back and forth between the host and the Japanese speaker. And also, they tell stories that are really interesting that kind of connect you to the word Ohio. It's kind of like、um, watching Japanese anime and watching over and over certain episodes. Uh, say, for example, Naruto, and you get the sense of、uh, words because of that particular anime. So it's kind of similar to that, but it's more mainstream and it's more fun. And there's a lot of audio lessons, there's so many、uh, different levels. There's absolute beginner, there are survival phrases that are available.、Um, so check out JapanesePod101.com. Links will be below in the description for all the resources that I'm going to, to be talking about. But、uh, Japanese Pod 101 is one of the main resources that I started with when I was learning Japanese. Okay, so here is the site that really kind of helped me in, in my learning philosophy. Okay, so A- AJATT.com means all Japanese all the time. So it's kind of counterintuitive, but the quickest way to learn Japanese is actually to be immersed in Japanese. No, so, you know, either you're going to have to go to Japan and, and travel and become Japanese,、uh, you know, live in a Japanese house, hostel or something, or you can surround yourself with Japanese materials, Japanese media, change your phone to, Japanese, the, to the Japanese language version of the phone, right? If you have an iPhone or Android, it's very easy to do nowadays, and there's a whole bunch of YouTube videos that can show you how to do it. But I really like this website because it, just, it doesn't just talk about 
like tips on learning it's not it's kind of, it's very different from the japanese pod 101.com site because it's more focused on the mentality of learning so how how to learn japanese um when you're totally immersed in it and it really gives you um very motivational articles um there's different methods and it's just a whole mind shift right changing your mind's way of thinking of learning a language and it really opened my eyes to um you know how i learned the language and how i started actually learning the language so when i started learning uh, japanese i didn't even know i was learning japanese because i was basically consuming a whole bunch of japanese anime this was when i was in high school and that's when i really started to like increase my comprehension level of the japanese language uh, so there's other awesome tools out there so for example rhinospike.com is a site where you can request native japanese speakers to read out uh, japanese text so i'm going to show you uh, actually an example so here's my account so people will request you to read uh, their things for them and you can request um scripts to be read um by japanese speakers so my request here my audio request was for this text here which was from a japanese drama called jin where a doctor time traveled back in time to um, samurai days so i had i i requested this and i got two recordings and it's really interesting because different japanese people natives will 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 read it out to you and it's really really cool so for example Okay, and then this person. And I think one of the great things about this website, Rhino Spike, is that um, the more audio requests that you do, the more your audio requests are given to the native speakers to do. So it's kind of a win win situation for both parties. So there are people who are learning English who want to listen to an English native person read that the that that article or that script that they've typed, and then there are native Japanese people who are willing to read your uh, native um, your Japanese uh, article or text that you want to learn. So back here, so there is another uh, there's an add-on for Firefox called Rikai Chan. So Rikai Chan is basically a um, a tool that that will pop up Japanese um, like definitions for Japanese text. So if you go to a Japanese Japanese website and you don't understand what's going on, it will show you like over here what it's what it is in English. So this here is Japanese, um, specifically the Japanese language Nihongo. This is Go. Um, so yeah. It's, re it's a really helpful tool when you're navigating Japanese uh, websites. And finally, the tool that I want to talk about is a tool called Anki. Anki is a tool, is a, it's called a SRS. Um, you'll learn more about it in the, this website, all, ja all Japanese, all the time. It's a very powerful tool that you can download for your iPhone. And there's also data packs already available. It's called uh, Remembering the Kanji All the Time. And basically, it's a system where you are able to practice remembering and learning the Japanese kanji. A very powerful tool to use that you need to use to create those little habits of learning the kanji. Because, again, remember, a lot of people are very... Uh, discouraged when they're when they're t when they're told that oh you need to remember 5,000 kanji it's actually not that bad if you break it down into smaller chunks so five kanji a week or five kanji a month is even better than no kanji at all okay and this this tool called Anki which you can download for your iPhone and your iPad is very very helpful okay and um, Here's another thing, don't forget media. If you're learning Japanese, the best way to practice your comprehension skills uh, without actually going to Japan and talking to Japanese people is to actually watch a lot of Japanese media. 
uh, think of it like a cheat code, right? If if the the more you listen to Japanese language, the more your your brain gets used to the different sounds that Japanese language makes. So there is actually a very lot. There's a lot of um, sites online nowadays that you can go to to get Japanese media. So I'm just gonna go over a few of them. So DramaFever.com. DramaFever.com is a site where you can watch a lot of uh, dramas. Most of the dramas that they have currently are Korean, but you can browse and you can um, filter by language. So if I was to filter by, let's see, I think there's a filter for Japanese. So here you go. So just click on Japanese and it will be all the Japanese dramas. And what you do is you watch an episode. So let's say, for example, I want to watch uh, this this Tenshu, right? And also, Jama Fever is free. Uh, the premium version just doesn't have ads. the The free version has ads, so you can you can use Jama Fever. It's it's great. So what you want to do is you can you want to watch the episode first without subtitles. I know it's gonna be kind of annoying in the beginning, but it's going to be great. Okay, so how do you turn off the subtitles in Drama Fever? So all you have to do is click on this caption here and turn it off and apply. And then watch the drama, the first episode or the first few minutes. You don't have to watch the whole episode uh, without subtitles, right? You can watch the first few, epi uh, few, first few minutes without subtitles so that you get, get a feel for the language. And then after that, then watch it with the English subtitles so that you can understand and enjoy the, the drama. So that's one site, dramafever.com. Another site is viki.com, which is also very similar to Drama Fever, also free. Uh, you could definitely explore. Um, they also have a lot of shows here. They have, um, so you wanna go around the world. You, you wanna click on countries and you want to click on specifically Japanese, so Japan, okay? And this is all the Japanese media that they have, okay? So that's what to do with Viki. And then I think the final one was, okay, so My Asian TV is also another site. Some countries won't allow you to go to Drama Fever or Viki, and this is another um, place that you can watch uh, dramas. Again, you, you have to, um, research it <clears throat> and change your I think genre or is it country yeah you got to change the country to Japanese right so that it filters it so it's only the Japanese dramas that are showing okay and then uh, that's it uh, and then also good old YouTube you can go to YouTube and search for Japanese YouTube videos all you have to do is actually just type uh, Japanese words so for example, I would go to Google Translate first. And let's say I'm looking for a video on how to fix a sink. How to fix a sink. Okay, change this to Japanese. And then just copy this into YouTube. And you should be able to have YouTube videos in uh, Japanese. So look, this is a video that's in Japanese about fixing a sink, I'm assuming. Okay, this one doesn't have any uh, voice to it, but I'm sure you could pretty uh, search for videos that are in YouTube that are uh, in Japanese language. And that's it. That's the uh, my short uh, video on learning Japanese. Uh, be sure to click on the links in below in the description that has all the links to these sites uh, for you. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it.